the Metropolitan Police have agreed to pay out £50,000 in compensation to two brothers who were caught up in student protests in Westminster five years ago. Christopher and Andrew Hilliard were taken into custody after being accused of pushing a police officer off his horse. They were cleared of the charge in court but soon launched a lawsuit against the force, accusing them of malicious prosecution, assault and battery. Well, I'm now joined live by both of the brothers to hear more about their experience. Uh, Andrew, uh, tell us what happened then on that day? Um, on the day it started off as a uh, general process going through Manchester, uh, sorry, going through London. Um, and um, as it, well, uh, when it got up to the point uh, at Parliament Square, we actually were, were brought into Parliament Square by the police because of their concern about a crush situation at the front of the protest. We were then taken into a into a dead end, where after some time, a police officer on a loud hailer told us and told the crowd that this is not a containment. If you want to leave, leave by the rear. The crowd then, including us, turned towards Broad Sanctuary, went to that end. Um, eventually, the the police believed they were under attack wrongly, and they. The line disappeared in front of us. All of a sudden, there were horses all around us as the police charged. One police officer then attacked the pair of us, taking off the comic masks uh, of Guy Fawkes that we were wearing, um, taking Andrew's hat as well and throwing it, and then finally taking me by my ponytail and attempting to lift me up uh, and drag me away. And uh, then you were arrested? At that point, yes, we were. He right. ended up fucking off. If, if it's accepted now that you were wrongly arrested, why then, Andrew, do you think you were arrested? Um, we were arrested because um, you had about a dozen police officers turned around, um, saw the uh, police officer coming off his horse, which you don't normally see, um, and they made an assumption you've got two people right next to that happening. They pulled them off. All right, so look, you were cleared in court, so why, are you, why then did you pursue suing the Metropolitan Police? Um, our main interest is actually to get people, well, to get the policing uh, corrected and to get people um, aware of what can go wrong and to be careful if they are protesting. We also understand that through a lot of this case, it was not just about a couple of officers making a mistake, which we understand, you know, we understand the assumption that that, that could have happened and we understand the arrest. What we don't understand is, is the way that they actually changed the story through, through the court, the way they manipulated evidence, and the way they actually had hid information that was crucial to the, uh, the defence case through the entire... Right, OK, but you were vindicated and uh, you were declared innocent. So what about the fact now you got a big compensatory payout? Does that not restore your faith or, in fact, give you faith in the justice system? I, I wish it did. What the payout does give us is it, it gives us a payment that will allow us to put together some of our lives. But this has taken up, certainly the criminal case, took up two years of our lives. And the civil case has again taken up a couple of years in, in our lives. The civil side is, is fantastic. But the fact of the matter is that, that many of these officers have not faced any misconduct hearings whatsoever including the officer who actually instigated the entire incident. And that deeply concerns us, especially when the police are telling us, and the government are telling us repeatedly, that we need to actually have faith in the police system, in the police being held to account. OK, just finally, will you be attending future protests? Most definitely. Yes, definitely. We hope to attend the national gathering in Manchester and protests after that. Christopher and Andrew Hiller, thank you very much indeed for joining us in RTUK. Thank you.